so there is no going back now. Hello, it's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be cutting my hair, but not my typical way where I cut each quadrant, just getting rid of the straggly ends and all of that damage that needs to go, and then compare each side under my chin or in the middle if it's in the front, and then I just go back a last time and just make sure that the shape that I want is just really nice and even. I get a nice, beautiful heart shape every single time that I cut my hair this way, and I've been doing it for years, and I just have great results. And I noticed that I need to cut my hair again, and I've been seeing this unicorn method trending on Instagram. I've seen a couple naturalistas cut their hair this way. So what I've seen them do is just gather all their hair up on the top of their head, just like a unicorn has the horn, secure it with an elastic so the hair is pulled up top, and then they're going to go section by section. I've seen both of them do three sections each, and then they gently pull the hair that's in the elastic down, and then cut the ends, and then just keep doing that two more times. And I see this nice beautiful shape and I really love that I love volume I love fullness so I think that it's gonna work for me and I don't wear my hair straight I did straighten my hair four months ago back in February and I actually straightened my hair twice which was a bit of a mistake because I had to cut the damage off and before that was back in 2016 so needless to say I am NOT gonna be straightening my hair anytime soon I just love when my hair is nice and voluminous and big I just wear my hair in wash and goes twist styles or I do styles I haven't done a perm rod out or flexi rod set in quite some time, so I will be revisiting those styles in the near future. But as for today, I just want to cut my hair, try something a little bit different. I think it may work. I don't know. You're going to see it along with me. So I am going to... I'm gonna hope for the best for this style. So I'm gonna start out in sectioning my hair in my quadrants just to detangle my hair. My hair is currently in a braid out that I did for my birthday. I had so much fun for my birthday. Thank you so much to all the loving birthday wishes. It means so much to me. Let me just section my hair into fours and then I'm gonna detangle my hair, make sure that it's nice and smooth for my cut. I'm gonna add a little bit of water just to help soften my hair up for easier detangling. And while I'm at it, let me take my earrings out so they don't get messed up. I just bought these earrings my first time wearing it and I would hate for them to get messed up. <laughs> I'm gonna be using this wide tooth comb and I love combs like this because I can detangle with ease. Not a rat tail comb. I only use my rat tail comb when I want nice precise parts, but this wide tooth comb is gonna help with detangling and also part my hair. And the parts honestly do not have to be perfect at this point. I just want to make sure that my hair is fully detangled and then I'm going to go back with my rat tail comb for nice, clean, precise parts. I'm just going to divide this quadrant into three subsections just to make sure that it's fully detangled so when I do pull my hair, it's nice and smooth. I just noticed that my right side of my hair, it just grows longer than the left side. So I need to make sure that it's balanced out because when I do wear my hair out in the styles, I've noticed that this side is longer so I don't have that nice roundness. I just want to make sure that my hair overall is healthy, healthy hair overall. And even when I comb my hair out like this, I can see right here some of the hair that needs to be cut anyway. I don't know how short I'm going to cut my hair. I'm thinking like a good inch to two inches off should be good. All right, I have one section down, now let me zoom through the last three. All right, now I am ready for my cuts. All right, so what it looks like they did first is just pull all of their hair up and then secure it with an elastic. I have these from Forever 21, so I'm just gonna put all of my hair up. I'm gonna bend over just so it's more smooth and I don't have any lumps in my hair. All right, so just like that, my hair is smooth and I'm just going to secure all of my hair. 
nice and tight. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna take another elastic, just gently pull on my hair and slide it down. I think this is about good. And then I have my hair cutting shears, so make sure that you are using shears, not regular scissors because it can just fray the ends of your hair and then damage those newly cut ends and that's not what you want. And I see some of my hair right here, that's fine, that's just some of the back. So I'm just going to cut right here. Wow. <laughs> so I cut this much off. All right, so there is no going back now. <laughs> and then I'm gonna repeat this two more times. It doesn't even look like I cut much off. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to part my first section and it looks like it's just right behind the ear, right here. It looks like it's somewhat even back here, but I'm gonna go back and even everything out. So let me just pull all the hair back up top again. And I'm just gonna secure this hair in the back because it was getting in the way a little bit. Here is good. So this is definitely more than two inches, but hey. <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> it looks so funny just seeing the little stub. It feels almost like a brush, like a makeup brush. <laughs> but here's how much hair I have cut so far. And let me do it one more time. Oh wow, I could definitely see my hair is a lot shorter, especially right here. Oh wow, like my hair is a lot shorter. Wow, it's almost like a little bang. Kind of here for it though. This is definitely gonna give me some volume. I'm here for it. All right, so let me do this again. <laughs> and it looks like they cut around this area right here. All right, and here is the last section right here. So I would say more in the front. It definitely had probably like five inches cut off now that I think about this. And I know my hair is going to be a lot shorter. And here is the last section. <laughs> and all in all, this is how much hair that I have cut. So I'm gonna go back and just kind of see what I am working with. Oh wow, <laughs> my hair is definitely a lot shorter. It looks pretty good. I see how I'm gonna have a lot of volume because my hair is really short right here in the front and then it just gets longer. I still have some layers and that is exactly why I wanted to try this method. I like that layered look because I get more fullness and my hair has more volume, especially at the top. And I just wanna go back and make sure that my hair, especially back here, that didn't get a chance to go all the way up, has been cut because I don't want those split ends traveling up and damaging the rest of my hair. I really like the way the shape is looking. Just imagine my hair being more defined. This shape is really nice. It frames my face. And I am gonna do a side part just because I wanna make sure that I have a lot of volume right there and just section my hair off. Now I'm just gonna make sure that my hair in the back is nice and even. All 
it seems pretty even I just feel like it can be cut just a little teeny bit more right here I don't know if you could see it's just not as full as I want so I'm going to cut right here so just about this much off all right that looks good and I'm taking bigger sections than I normally do just because I've already cut my hair it definitely seems very even, so I'll say the unicorn cut, it does work. I just want to make sure that all the damaged ends that I want it to be off are all gone. Yes, my ends, they feel so much healthier now, and they're fuller. That's exactly what I wanted because I just noticed that the ends, especially in the front, they were more see-through and they just didn't have that thickness that I want. Now the front of my hair is a lot shorter, especially right here. It's gonna take some getting used to, but overall I think it looks really nice. Yeah, this is very even. I was a little bit skeptical. And just like that, I am all done. I really love the way my hair came out. The unicorn method really worked well for me. I just love this volume, this thickness, and I got rid of a lot of hair, especially right here in the front, but because I love wearing my hair nice and voluminous, this is definitely going to help with that volume and not have my hair weighed down. Because before, I just found that I had to really fluff my hair and just really zhuzh it up to get that volume that I love. But I think now I'm not gonna have any problem. I know my hair, it looks shorter a little bit in the front but my hair grows back pretty quickly especially on this right side I don't know why the right side of my hair grows a lot faster than the left side but now I've evened it out so when I do all my styles it's gonna look good 360 I just can't get enough of the way my hair looks right now I would say for me I think this is a good way to cut your hair and then do some modifications afterwards it just gives a nice blueprint especially if you want a lot of volume and you don't press your hair wear it straight I can't get enough I just have this nice beautiful mane this nice it's not really a heart shape but I'll say more of a round shape I have layers in my hair it just doesn't feel weighed down especially right here this is what's going to give that volume I love it let me know what you think down below in the comments and I'll see you in my next video bye